Welcome to Mother Daughter Projects, I'm Steph. Today we're gonna make a concrete lamp complete with concrete lampshade. We're gonna use a one liter life water bottle, a one inch PVC pipe and cap, two flower pots, eight inch and six inch, and we're using Quick Creek countertop mix. The first step is to cut a one and three fourths inch hole with a hole saw in the smaller of the two pots. Next, I'm gonna place the PVC cap halfway into the hole and silicone it into place. The silicone will keep the concrete from seeping into the hole. I let that dry for a couple hours. Then I moved on to making the base. I put aluminum tape on the bottom of the PVC pipe to keep concrete from seeping in. I put on my safety gear, goggles, mask, and gloves, and mix the concrete. Next, I filled the life water bottle with concrete. Halfway through, I put the PVC pipe in place and continued to add concrete. Once filled, I use my fingers to tap the sides of the bottle to help release any air bubbles. To keep the pipe in place, I used a piece of duct tape. I let it cure for 24 hours. I moved on to making the lampshade. I put on my safety gear and mixed the concrete. I started filling the bigger pot. Then I added the second pot. To keep it in place, I used two paint sticks and a heavy vintage iron. Then I continued to place the concrete into the sides. I continued filling up the mold and then I used a random orbital sander without the sandpaper to vibrate the mold to release any air bubbles. The more vibrating, the smoother finish you will get in your finished concrete. 24 hours later, I removed the molds. Starting with the lamp base, I cut the plastic and pulled it off. The mold can be removed after 24 hours, but the concrete will not gain its full structural strength for 28 days, so keep that in mind when using concrete. The color will also lighten as it cures. To unmold the lampshade, I pulled the silicone out easily from the middle, then I cut four slits into the smaller pot and pulled it out. Once it popped out, you can see that it gave me a nice smooth finish inside and the PVC cap is attached into the concrete. And then I worked on removing the outside pot and it came out even better than I expected. I sanded a little around the edges to be sure they were smooth. To finish off the lamp, I added sticky battery powered LED lights to the inside of the shade. I also added some fast drying glue as the sticky back didn't stick too well to the concrete. Then I placed the PVC cap on the PVC pipe, which ensures a good connection between the base and the lampshade. I used Velcro to add the battery pack to the PVC pipe. And done. This unique lamp will look great on my bedside table. For more how-to videos, please visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube. Be sure to check out our next video when we take this lamp to the next level.